Yeah, I like the shootout, but again, like it's a little different now. It's obviously the month of May in Indianapolis, which is a, a big time for us, you know, IndyCar teams and drivers. So with that, you know, there's always a ton of community outreach and doing different things. And, you know, IU Health has had a long history with Indianapolis Motor Speedway, really going back to the beginning. Me with the facility team and just to try to try to bring some good energy and let everyone know that their hard work's appreciated. What's the typical like number of patients in this part of the program kind of stay consistent or come up to Colt and meet some transplant um, survivors and that are working their butts off and talking to a young man back there that's you know waiting on a heart and kidney transplant and putting in work to be prepared for that to to have a successful outcome and you know it's I work hard every day to, to try to chase a goal but the perspective is a little different of you know it, you know, we put so much into a race and it does change your life, but we're not fighting for our life. So, you know, to be here and, and see people that are, that are putting in work just to, to, you know, extend their life, give themselves a better quality of life, you know, their perspective is, is humbling. My wife was a nurse here and did work out of the tracks. So that's actually how we met. My father-in-law works, works here at the hospital. Something you care about and, and appreciate. That, that we have as a resource here in town. I grew up here, I've lived in Indy since I was eight years old, and we still live here, we will always live here. Um, you know, so Methodist, IU Health, you know, it's, it's always been something that's close to us.